What up, Whiskey Chaser fam? Hope everybody is doing well. Out here with the Steeds, the Yamaha Bolt, and the Street Bob. And today we're gonna be doing a little bit of a review. So if you hadn't noticed, there's a lot of motorcycle content creators out there right now who are making a review on Viking Bags Saddlebags. And that's because they reached out to a lot of us and they offered to send some bags out to us and to do a little review on them. That's what I'm gonna be doing today. However, I had a little bit of a twist on mine. As you can see right here, these bags are on my Yamaha Bolt. They are not on the Street Bob. Now, originally these bags were for a Wide Glide, I think that's the ones that she sent me. They offered to send me those right there, but obviously I already had them and I let them know. It was like, hey, I already have these. Like, don't really have a reason to have another set and then she was like all right cool well i'll send you you know these ones she gave me a couple options these are the ones i picked yeah they look pretty good i really like the uh fact that they are curved in the back and they go along with the bolt it was actually kind of strange so as you can see from right here i tried using these bags on the Dyna and they are not made for this bike without a turn signal relocation kit which they number one didn't send me so I wasn't gonna buy one and the number two I didn't want to use anyway I don't really like the way that the turn signal relocation kit looks and if I was gonna use these bags on that bike I was gonna have to drill a couple of holes in the side or something figure out a way to mount them anyways those bags work fine and so I went over to the Yamaha and I was like, you know, I do need a little bit of storage on this bike. Yeah, so I figured I'd try it out. And it just so happens that these bolts back here, can't really see them, but the holes that are in the side of the bag happen to line up with the holes that are on the fender. So they mount up really, really well. And uh, yeah. So what I'm gonna do right now is we're gonna go for a little ride and we're gonna test out the storage capabilities of the Yamaha Bolt Viking Bags saddlebags. Start off just by showing how much I really like these buckles. Have like these really nice chrome buckles on them which look great. Uh, they, do, they do look really good on this bike. Uh, they have this really nice Velcro right there in the back and right there in the front, which really uh, close this thing up well. One thing I don't like about it is this is the way it opens. I feel like it should have opened the other way. As you can see, it gets in the way with the sissy bar. Even if the sissy bar wasn't there, I don't know how well it would open anyway. If you come over here to the Heritage, Parker's Heritage, you can see her bag opens up this way, which is fantastic. It's out of the way. Really, really nice feature there, but these don't do that. I mean, it's fine. You can still get to everything inside of them. You know, it's just something that I kind of noticed it would have been nicer if they opened up like those Harley saddlebags. But I'm gonna throw a couple of things in here just to uh, get some capacity, blah, blah, blah. We got some gloves. We got a bag with some extra batteries and stuff. I got a gas can. It's empty, so whatever. But uh, it also does have these little pouches on the inside that you can slide in keys or, you know, whatever, your phone or extra glasses. I bring extra nighttime glasses with me usually. And one thing that I really enjoy about these bags is when you close it up here, it actually locks on top, which is great. So if you wanna put anything in there that you don't want people getting to, like uh, money or a wallet, I have had to take my wallet off before because I have this chain 
and I had to go put it in my bike and I wasn't a big fan of that but if you have to do anything like that you can put it in there and it's pretty freaking secure so I also wanted to show off the capacity with something like a vest because there are people out there who not me but there are people that ride in riding clubs uh, and they have to sometimes take their vest off in order to go into say a bar that says no cuts no colors blah 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 and you don't want anybody to mess with this you really want to keep this secure if you're going to do that so uh, i wanted to throw this in the side over here just to show that a full large vest will fit with no issues and then you can close that and then we could take our handy dandy key lock that up and nobody is going to be getting in there without some severe um, stuff <laughs> anyways let's jump on the bike now and go for a little bit of a ride i'm gonna go pick up just some stuff from the gas station and uh yeah it's you know a beautiful day here in tennessee it is december the end of december and it is 60 degrees so we're gonna go for a little bit of a ride Whew. this thing sounds so good all right let's go all right baby well it's a good thing i decided to go out to uh a gas station because it looks like I'm about 10 miles from empty over here. So while we're on our way, we can go ahead and talk about some things I like and I don't like about these bags. Viking bags is probably one of the best saddlebag uh, markets in the game. They they make great stuff. I've bought them and use them on on a lot of my stuff. I, I really enjoy them. Uh, if you search for saddlebags for uh, basically any sort of motorcycle they're one of the first thing that pops up and and they deserve it they are making good quality items that fit all kinds of things at a good affordable price they didn't pay me to say that i am not getting paid by them at all i told them that i would i would do a uh, unconditional my opinion review of these bags so i just want to say that because i really do like what they are doing i like their stuff I like their products, I buy them and use them uh, myself, so being able to take uh, something and, and do a review on it is is a fantastic opportunity for me. You know, I thought it was kind of ironic whenever I looked and and I realized that the, the bolting holes lined up exactly with uh, the, the rear fender uh, mounts for this bike because these are Harley saddlebags. I was like, man, another freaking Harley part for the bolt. People are gonna hate me again. <laughs> but you know what? It works. I do specifically like the fact that they are hard bags. They are pretty weather resistant. Uh, I did rain all day yesterday. And when I opened these bags to look inside, they were clear, they were clean. There was nothing inside of them. Uh, no water, or dirt, or anything like that. In terms of storage, they do seem to be a little bit lacking. I do wish that they were more like the other saddlebags that I got, the uh, soft zippered molly bags, because that one uh, will hold uh, an entire 12 pack of beer or like an entire car battery, not car battery, but you know, I put an alternator in the uh, Currican bags that I took off of this bike which if you saw you know maybe I'll show it here the the Currican bags have been all over the country and uh, they are in rough shape my views tried to tape them back up and man they've been through hell and back but I got those things off eBay really cheap and they've done me well uh, they didn't look that great because they were throw over bags they didn't fit underneath the seat so the strap went over the top of the seat and it just didn't look good not exactly the most ideal setup but they did work for a while uh, but those bags held a ton I fit an alternator in there I fit 12 packs of beer I fit a 12 pack of white claws which is a bigger longer can not a bigger can it's the same 12 fluid ounces but they're longer because they're skinny cans 
I fit those in there, and these ones, they're not getting a 12 pack in there. Heck, I would, I would highly doubt you could get a six pack in there. It's one of the things that I don't really like about the Harley saddlebags either is, for some reason, they're just skinnier. They're skinnier and they're longer, so they have the capacity on paper. Uh, you know, they hold a certain capacity, but really having them be a little bit shorter and a little bit wider, a little bit deeper, uh, definitely helps to hold a lot of the um, things that bikers enjoy carrying around with them especially at like rallies when you go there and you need to go to the grocery store after you've like set up your tent and everything to get some uh, refreshments <laughs> i would say you probably can throw like maybe a camping pillow and uh, a small like blow-up mattress pad not like a uh, real blow-up mattress but you know like the thin pads that you just like pump up with your foot that would fit in there you might be able to fit you know a sleeping bag like that would be probably one one of these bags you wouldn't be able to fit a tent in there especially with the stakes uh, that would have to uh, attach to you know like a sissy bar or something like that strapped down to the back of the seat so they're not really camping setup ready uh, the molly bags I really like because you can take bungee bungee cords with hooks on them and you can hook those all around it and wrap them around and and all that kind of stuff. This obviously doesn't have that, but there are gonna be ways that you can attach things to it, to the top, to the side, whatever, if you really need to. The thing is, if there's a will, there's a way. For the price, which I've seen these things all over the place from on sale, 150 bucks, all the way up to like 260, $280, something like that. Uh, and then you also have to factor in your bike are you gonna have to get the turn signal relocation kit? Didn't want to purchase that from Viking Bags for this review uh, because I already had a pair of saddlebags on that bike that I like and I didn't wanna go do any sort of major, you know, wiring or changing or anything like that. With the Yamaha Bolt, if you do get these for your Bolt, uh, which if you have a Yamaha Bolt and you're looking for saddlebags, this is a way way better looking bag than the Yamaha stupid bags that they sell, which look like absolute trash. So I would definitely recommend these over that. I have uh, these little tiny LED turn signals on my bolt and they fit nice and easy between the bag and the fender. I'm not quite sure uh, my bolt came with the tidy tail relocation kit thing. So I don't know, man. I don't know, you're gonna have to do a little bit of research on that one yourself, but I will just say these are gonna be so much nicer looking. They're gonna be lockable. Uh, they're gonna hold up a lot better than those dumb Yamaha ones that just look like trash and are like awkwardly placed. They're like way too far back and they have a weird shape to them. They're not gonna hold as much as these ones are gonna hold. Yeah, anyways, that's that. <laughs> I'll tell you that having storage back on the motorcycle after taking those other saddlebags off, even though no saddlebags looks a lot cooler, having storage is just so much better. Viking Bags also makes a really cool, uh, almost like the Willie and Max version of the swing arm bag that I had on this bike before that I really, really like. If we end up going through with a lot of the things on this bike that uh, I certainly hope that we're gonna go through on, then uh, we're gonna need to remove these saddlebags and do something else with them. And I'm gonna need uh, to put something else with storage. I might uh, just end up, you know, reaching out to Viking Bags, see if they'll let me do a little something, something with that as well, which is, a cool cool little bag it, it doesn't hold a lot but it holds enough you throw some gloves you throw a, you know a bottle of water energy drink whatever in there and uh you're gonna be able to to get what you need essential wise down the road all right let's get some gas of course i had to stop at the most expensive gas station in the freaking city jesus christ All right. Yeah, this definitely is uh, a good look for this bike. I love how it just so happens to 
curve along with the fender. Uh, these are the turn signals right there I was talking about. And so they're nice and bright. And they go straight back. They're pretty solidly mounted on there too. So the fact that these work on this bike with no extra hardware or anything is pretty fantastic, man. Sweet, that'll do for right now. Probably take it on a couple of trips, you know, see how it goes. They definitely look way better than the last ones, but having no bags at all is the better looking way. However, it's not that practical. <laughs> all right, so go up to my locked bag, unlock it. And put my drankies in there. Yeah, it's definitely got enough space for a lot of stuff in here. It's just so thin that it's harder to get certain things in there, you know? Like, there's no way a six-pack or something is going to slide in here, especially with the clasp that locks it. So, I mean, it'll carry a good amount of stuff. It's just a little bit more, I don't know, finicky than, like, the other bags, which are large and square and... You know, they come out a little bit further, but they're a little bit shorter. Yeah, It's still cool, man. <laughs> oh, I love how much this bike rips. Even though it's only a 950, man, it still gets up. Well, you guys will have to tell me what you think about these bags. What do you think about the way they look? Is it an improvement over the last ones that I had? Obviously, I think it's an improvement, but the other ones also held, you know, a lot of beer, so. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments what you think. Let me know if you have some Viking bag saddlebags, and if you like them, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like about them. If you have a Yamaha Bolt, uh, let me know if you think that the factory Yamaha bags, or if these Viking bags uh, saddlebags are a better look because I'd be curious to see what people think. I know some people who love those Yamaha bags and I think that they just look like trash. <laughs> I think they look so awkward. They look like they're about to fall off the bike. Ooh, puppy does not like engine noise. <laughs> Y'all ever get dogs whenever you're driving past them that just freak out? They just start at your bike because it is uh, louder than normal vehicles that are on the road. I get it all the time, man. Especially when I was in New York. Oh, you drive past people walking their dogs and they would just start freaking out on you. <laughs> Thank you very much to Viking Bags who reached out to me and to all of my friends who are content creators and offered us the opportunity to do a nice little review on... Uh, on these bags on on different ones like i said viking bags are are the best in the game man like they just make the best products for the best price uh you know it's not the cheapest uh but for the quality it is a pretty good easy price on on the wallet so viking bags thumbs up uh definitely recommend for the yamaha bolt maybe not recommend for the street bob but I do recommend the soft bags that I have for the Street Bob. Those are fantastic. If you have a bike that you want to be able to uh, quickly take on and, and take off whatever, the bags, those soft bags are great. These ones are great for more of a permanent mount. They fit the bolt, which is, which is pretty crazy. <laughs> it was easier to put Harley bags on a Yamaha bolt than it was to put them on a Harley Davidson Dyna. This was just a quick little, you know, review of these things. We're gonna do more of a long-term thing with them. I'm definitely gonna be doing some traveling and I'm gonna need these bags on this bike to do that. Like I said, we will be doing some stuff to this bolt here in the future. Not quite sure when that's gonna happen, but uh, when it does, I'm gonna find another use for these bags on probably a different bike. We'll see where they end up going. If you guys are new here, this is the Whiskey Chaser channel and I make motorcycle related videos. We are on our way to 5,000 subscribers and I'm gonna be giving away one of these bad boys right here. I've seen a 10C Evo when we hit that. All you gotta do, man, 
is just subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. That is it. So if you haven't, go down there, hit that subscribe button, get us on our way to 5,000 subscribers. It's free, it's easy, it's uh, good for you. I can tell you that uh, it cures the common cold if you subscribe to this channel. That is a guaranteed fact. Want to join the fam? Uh, jump on down there, subscribe to the channel, check out the links down below. We got a Patreon link, you get to join up in my Discord. I'm not the greatest at Patreon, but I'm getting better. And everybody that's in the uh, Discord is a fantastic person who I love talking to. We talk every day about all kinds of cool, fun stuff. And yeah, that is the best way to support the channel. It is a dollar a month. And then, oh yeah. That's about it. Thanks, Viking Bags. Thanks to you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. All that good stuff. We'll see you later. Adios, muchachos.